Hi everyone, Mike Shanley, sales assistant here at Toner Cable. And today we're going to tell you how to install and connectorize a T2500 fitting on our hardline half inch cable. So the first thing we're going to do is take the plastic protective cap off of the pin. Next, what we're going to do is open the lid of our TBLE line extender. And we're going to insert the connector pin first into the side of the TBLE. And we're going to screw it into place. With it fully in place, you can see that the pin extends past the seizure screw. And next we're going to mark it past that seizure screw so we know where to trim it. Just put a little mark with your marker on there so that way you know where to trim it. You always want to trim your pin to size so it's not interfering with anything else in there, it's not too long, anything like that. So we're going to remove the connector again and we're going to take our angled cutters, find our mark, and just trim it to size. With that done, we're going to reinsert it into the side of the TBLE again. And we're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver and tighten that seizure screw back down. This will ensure that it is in place and ready to go. Now we're ready to prep our cable. Alright, now we're ready to strip and prepare our hardline cable. So we're going to take the jacket stripper, we're going to insert it over the edge of the hardline cable, and we're going to gently twist until we feel it catch on the jacket. Once it catches, just continue to turn it and strip the cable back. Okay, now that the cable is stripped, we're going to go ahead and core it with our coring tool. This is the Jonard HJS coring tool. And what we're going to do is insert the cable and begin to core it with the coring tool. Uh, when it is properly uh, cored, you can take it back out and you will have your almost prepared cable. The last thing you're going to do is use the CC100 uh, dielectric trimmer and remove all of the dielectric from the stinger of the cable. You want to do this to ensure that you have a good clean connection and ensure that you get proper signal out of your cable. With our cable properly prepped, we're going to remove the back nut of our T2 fitting here. We're going to slide this over our prepped cable all the way back until it meets the jacket. Once that's done, we're going to insert our cable into the connector here and ensure it is in there properly. With that done, we're going to tighten back our back screw on here. Make sure it is properly tight. Cable is connectorized. You can additionally put on uh, a piece of heat shrink that will keep it uh, weather tight and protect the cable and the connector and your line extender from the elements. This has been how to install a connector on a hardline cable. Thanks for watching.